Hi everybody, it's Ray. It's Life and Vibe. And I wanted to quickly follow up with the email saga that has been going on between various members, supposedly, of Sarasota's Tim's family, emailing me uh, about a variety of different things. But before we get into it, because I'm going to take a quick peek at his video about the gas station just to finish out this one so let me just throw out the fair use you know this is for entertainment purposes only i will be making transformational content from uh his video at the gas station and as we know i am a registered nurse i am trained to be a psychiatric mental health nurse practitioner i am not treating or diagnosing anybody in this video this is my opinion and my opinion only and so I have, as you know, and let me make me small, been getting all sorts of interesting emails in my email box. And we had the first one that came through, which was regarding the legal threats to myself and other reaction commentary channels, parody channels that talk about Sarasota Tim. Then it was followed with a sort of... you an apology. Tim was CC'd on this. And we've always said that if he were not involved in it, he could come out and easily make a video and just say, this is nonsense. This is, you know, I've nothing to do with this. I don't know who's sending out those emails, but he does not address the situation. So I, as you know, received one from his son, <laughs> Tim Baker Jr., which asked me to please leave my dad alone. You hurt his feelings. And one of the things about that is I want to, you know, then show you what the next email was that I got. And this came through the other day. And I got an email supposedly from Tim's third wife. Okay, so just take a look at the email addresses. One was, I mean, they literally are making the Gmail addresses. Tim's third wife. And it's interesting because you have to keep setting up profiles usually to get a variety of email addresses. So somebody is really putting in some effort into this prank, I guess. And one of the interesting things, so the third wife says, just out of, you know, giggles, I am Tim's third wife. Hope you find this scumbag. He still owes me child support. You do great work. And I guess they thought that I would fall for it and start having a conversation and be like, oh, yeah, you know, Tim is a terrible person to this stranger who sent me an email. So I just sent them back saying, what are you talking about? And never heard anything back. So let's just quickly go over and take a peek, see, at the messages that were sent to me and where they potentially could come from. So let me show this screen to you. I'm going to share this tab instead. So this was the first email. Let me just make sure I'm still being seen properly. There we go. Oh, no, I'm not. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get this down. Hold on. I'm going to get this down first. There we go. Okay. I'm going to share this screen instead. It was, I thought I was sharing a screen, but I guess not. We're supposed to share this screen. Okay. All right. There we go. Okay. So let me just double check, make sure it's coming up. There we go. Okay. So if you can see, obviously, this is the original message. This is the email from Tim Baker Jr. And that obviously is the email address it came from. But the important part is this IP address, the 209-85220.41. That was the IP address. Now, if we go and take a look at the one that's been sent by his third wife, let's share this tab and said, we have the same IP address. So I guess Tim's son, Tim Jr., who I understand lives in Florida, is living with Tim's third wife on the same email address? Uh, because it's the same IP address. It's 209-85-220.41. And thank you to Lola Oil for pointing that out uh, to me because I wasn't even trying to take that much of a look at it. And she said, it's the same. It's the same IP. I was like, oh my goodness, you're right. It is absolutely 
the same IP address. <laughs> so whoever this prankster is or cohort of Tim's, because he was CC'd on the first email that was sent to us, he has, like I said, not addressed it. And uh, you, this is the last so far email that I've received. So it just it just keeps getting to be more and more fun all the time. So <laughs> other things that I found of interest today um, are obviously so that's kind of where we are with this saga going on. And there's still more things happening in the background, but this is kind of where we are with the emails I've been receiving. So I then took a look because we know we were talking about Tim and the Hilton Garden in Temecula that he had been to. So let me go over here. And this is the one in Temecula, which I'm guessing is the one that he and Tammy stayed at, which is probably one of the least expensive ones other than this one over here in Palm Springs. It's probably less expensive, probably very hot over here at the moment. It's $100, so that's not a bad price. And it doesn't have free parking included. So if you click on this thing, uh, you will see that that has disappeared. So it's not one that is included in free parking. So had he sort of looked, he would have realized, you see, that's not one that includes the free parking, Tim. So you could have taken a quick peek, see, and realized you were going to have to pay for parking if you'd actually, you know, spoke to the hotel. But I understand someone paid for that room for you. So why would you be concerned about $11 on some parking or a few dollars for a breakfast? Uh, you know, but if you think that's uh, costly, Tim, you should probably come over here to the one we have in Virginia Beach <laughs> at the oceanfront near where I live. And I doubt it has free parking. Here it is. Uh, you can get starting rate here in Virginia Beach if you're over here at the oceanfront at $323 a night at the moment. And uh, so, I mean, a real absolute bargain. And you can see our prices for hotel rooms are not <laughs> are comparable, if not more expensive than the hotels in California and the same Hilton Garden Inn, which I found quite interesting. Um, and then let me see. I bet you any anywhere here, this one does not have free parking. This is right on the oceanfront, Virginia Beach. Oh, there we go. No free parking. You know, it probably cost more than $11 too. So if you drove into town and you stayed at that Hilton Garden Inn for, say, a week, you'd be paying for the cost of the parking. <laughs> so I'm just showing you, this is very common. You can find all this information real easy if you actually go to the website. And I'm sure it's on your family discount and friends app or whatever you've been using as well. So that was interesting. So yeah, yeah, I was just, you know, just doing a little research there. All right, let's get over to his gas buying real fast. Let me make him big. I'm going to put Tim down to 1.25 because, you know, we just love a person who's going to spend 10 minutes, uh, you know, two minutes talking about his gas purchases um, because that's generally what people enjoy. Uh oh, he went, he went small and he's supposed to be big. Okay. All right, Tim, let's do that. And then we're going to show you the type of views he's been getting from his uh, channel today okay tim take it away about your gas Hello, everybody sarasota tim buying my first california gas and here we got four dollars and 85 cents and the good news about this place is they don't care if you use cash or credit it's the same five dollars <laughs> um we are in uh, almost to vista california very close to oceanside and really the, one of the main reasons I guess he's laughing because there are gas stations and I've seen them even in South Carolina and places where they'll give you a discount if you pay cash because obviously they're not having to pay for the processing of the credit card. So they pass that savings on to the customer. You know, Tim always knows. I wanted to make this video as I was talking to this to you about comments and everybody knows I drive a Toyota Tundra and there was a comment that was made about my Tundra being made in Texas and I immediately responded with like, you're wrong. They're all made in the same factory in Japan. Well, guess what? I'm wrong. And I apologize mm. for that commenter because. Yeah, because Tim's a know-it-all. You're an absolute know-it-all. <laughs> I'm thinking about my Toyota 4Runner. Toyota 4Runners are made in Japan in their own factory. 
The Toyota Tundra is made in San Antonio, Texas. I was dead wrong about that. I apologize. I hope that subscriber that commented sees this video. My sincerest apologies. And I'm wrong, I'm wrong. But anyway, let's get back. Well, I'm surprised you just didn't delete the comment because that's generally what you do if anybody disagrees with you. We're back to the narcissistic personality disorder, egotistical, grandiose, grandiosity. Back to so I'm going to add this little clip to that uh, video I just made. I spent $36.48 for seven and a half gallons of gas. Now, I, the good news is that's all the gas we've burned from vapor. The good news is, is that you're you're holding up a gas station at the moment, too. Uh, luckily, it's not that busy, but this guy's like coming around trying to figure out why Miss Tammy having to hold a camera like a human tripod. Vegas is seven and a half gallons running 70 and 80 miles an hour on the freeway. Oh, no. And a lot of stop and go oh, actually, traffic. No, on it's Tim. Tim at this point is actually doing his own filming. I guess Tammy got tired of standing out in the sun. But the first one was probably her filming him because it was, you know, him just stood there. Oh, my goodness. How long are you were hanging out on this gas station in front of the pump? Oh, my goodness. And why is this content sticker shock? Oh, goodness. <laughs> on, the, uh, on the freeway as well. But it is mostly highway mileage. But, hey, how can you complain about that? You can do anything once. I mean, by the time we're going to be here, uh, we might not even buy gas here again. Who knows if we do, though. But 485 a gallon. This car right here, I might have to trade the Thunder for it. I love this gas mileage. This is great. I mean, it really is getting like 40 miles per gallon. Wow. Yeah, you love the gas mileage, but you complain about your back. I guess whatever patch you stuck on it. <laughs> and there's questions as to whether it was lidocaine or something else. Gosh, I hope it wasn't something else. That would really be bad. You know, you... Let's hope that Johnny Vegas wasn't giving over to Lauder or fentanyl patches to help Tim's pain, because that really would be bad, especially if he's driving on the road. I'm going to reset the triple domino now. <laughs> Find what you're looking for? Yeah. We're uh -oh, out of here. Crushing Tammy. it. Uh-oh. He's got... He, Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. I don't want that person on my screen. Oh, my goodness. Let me stop sharing. Oh, I don't even know who those people were. I get the wildest thing. Things that come up at the end. Oh, my goodness, Tim. Okay. Last thing. Let's just look at, at Tim's numbers today on his uh, views. Let's take a quick peek see at that. So uh, let me refresh just to make sure that we get, you know, the current numbers as they have come in. He's just popping out content left, right, and center. So his most popular, oh, my goodness, he has put out. Poor Tammy. She's he's put out one, two, three, four, five, six videos so far. Um, they're all a little bit over eight minutes now because maybe he's realized he can't get any mid-roll ads unless it's eight minutes long. And so Tammy, the human tripod, and Tam are out here. Uh, the one that was the view above Temecula, well, and it's nine hours. I mean, nine minutes long. Sorry, it feels like nine hours with Tim. Uh, he's had 1.1 thousand views in five hours. Uh, this one over here in Oceanside, maybe all his viewers are at their prison jobs at the moment. And that's why he has not had as many views. Maybe once they get home from their prison jobs, they'll be able to watch your content, Tim. Then he's over here at Oceanside. That was probably his big morning talk where he just shows the pier. That's a 2.2. Um, an hour ago, he's got 478, 506, um, and 930 over here. So obviously riveting content. His 63.3 thousand subs and his 98 million souls <laughs> watch him are obviously loving this content. I am surprised sometimes at the numbers he does get. Um, just go over to his home real fast. I'm always shocked on numbers like this on the 16th when he got 72.5 views. I find that astounding. And this one I find astounding. But as you can see, I mean, this is me. I'm pretty steady. I'm a little tiny channel. So I'm not trying to compete with his views at all because I'm small. Um, I have nowhere near his sub count. I'm at like 3,400 subs, which in reality is 3,690,000 million subs and souls watching my content. And I, yeah, I'm making up numbers. And so you can see 
you know, here and here, we're pretty close. I mean, he didn't get a lot on the 24th. Uh, I guess he didn't have great content that day because that really dipped. And then Miss Tammy came and she's not showing up. So it's not. But you got to think, this person spits out a lot of content in a day. Mine was kind of getting up there when I was at the time when I was doing my peak Tim, you know, over here. Probably, you know, I have a little tiny channel. You know, this is probably when I was spitting out all that content about Tim or over here. I I have no idea. <laughs> I don't pay that much attention in that respect. Uh, I have obviously a career uh, that people like to remind me that my employer would not be happy if I was doing this channel. And that's not the case. They don't mind. They actually find it uh, interesting because I really don't do anything um, that's out of, of you know, the realm of me being a professional RN. So for those who are commenting that I would lose my job, no, my employers are absolutely okay with me doing this content. <laughs> and they're well aware I have a channel. All right, guys, let me just, uh, I, I'm updating my shout outs because I need to make some updates to that. So I'm sorry if I haven't shouted people out as uh, part of the good life and the best vibes community, but I am going to work on updating that. I just have some stuff I'm doing at the house, but I will make sure to do that because I want to make sure that my supporters know that I really appreciate them. And I'm so glad when they join me and take a look at my videos. So I do really appreciate that. And uh, if you did like this content, make sure that you subscribe, hit the likes, it sends it up the algorithm. And I certainly do appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.